welcome this is master prophet noel teaching you the school of ministry volume one and two cd set in this course you will learn the secrets of ministry to better equip you before making that life-changing decision we will continue with the school of ministry volume one and two cd set we'll be right back with today's teaching The School of Ministry Principle Number 1 Having the Right Spirit for Ministry Many believers worldwide hear ministers speak of their great encounter with God in a dream or a near-death experience they had or a powerful vision that convinced them to enter full-time ministry. These ministers use their mystical experience to convince their members and followers that joined their church they were chosen by God and accepted the calling. Many of these so-called ministers won't tell you that the real reason they're in ministry is because they refuse to work a 9 to 5 job and many of them have criminal records. The alarming fact about ministry is that many of the leaders in ministry have awakened to the fact that fleecing the sheep is more profitable than working a 9 to 5 job. Let me explain. In the 1980s and 90s, Pastor Robert Tilton used the Success in Life Christian show to convince thousands of believers to make a $1,000 vow that earned them over $80 million per year. This Christian minister, he quoted Bible scriptures and spoke in tongues as he used his position to minister to gain wealth. Well-known healing evangelist Todd Bentley is internationally known for preaching the name of Jesus and healing the sick. He will tell you his personal encounter with God that changed his life to fire up the crowds that attend his meetings, but Todd Bentley will never tell you that because of the many tattoos throughout his body, the sexual charges he has on his record, and the struggles with drug and alcohol addiction, he will never build wealth working a 9 to 5 job and turn to ministry to cash in. Many of the leaders in ministry today have the wrong spirit for ministry and use their influence and position to fleece their followers to tithe, to give donations, and to sow $1,000 seeds into their ministry that permits the man of God to live in abundance while the church followers live in lack. Now, before you choose to accept the calling into full-time ministry, you should examine your heart and ask yourself this question. Do I have the right spirit for ministry? Now, listen to this live prophecy I gave to this caller that reveals secrets about her life before she spoke a word. Listen closely to this live prophecy. She's not going to help you. Beautiful. Sabrina, you know the word of the prophet will say is, before I did this session for you, Sabrina, I call upon my angels and I began to call them, asking them for information about your life. And my angel bring me something that I want to just speak into your life and I'm going to give you enough time to ask all the questions that you like. Sabrina, the word of the prophet will say that my angel uh, revealed to me is you have to, you have to be careful with your intuitive sensitivity. And let me explain what I mean when I, when I say this. My angel keeps telling me that you're a very intuitive person. You have this unnatural ability where you begin to come into people's presence and you can feel the energy if they're lying, if they're telling you the truth. And, and my angel kept telling me that you must begin to master that intuitive ability because I continue to see even the, the person you're involved with knowing that you know every time they get ready to make some move because you're very intuitive. And my angel kept telling me to tell you, Sabrina, that you must begin to use that gift and begin to ma uh, uh, learn how to master it. Because I continue to see all around you, Sabrina, when I pray for you, a lot of energy that is around you because you're so intuitive and you have to begin to wash the energy away from you. Let me give an example, um, uh, Sabrina. Your husband comes from outside and he's telling you all kinds of stories. 
You stand in his presence and you look at him and you can begin to sense if he's telling you a lie. You intuitively connect with him. But what you're not understanding is that you have to learn how to control that intuition because you begin to walk with the energy of the person you're connecting with. So you begin to have problems with your stomach. Because I feel that something starts happening in your stomach. Do you get what I'm saying, Sabrina? begin to have problems in your stomach and you're walking around with it and you're asking yourself what is this happening what is this happening it's because you're intuitive you're walking with other people's energy because you can tap into the energy field and you haven't figured out that you must begin to wash that energy off of you or it will come into your life and it will be giving you the results of what that person experienced and you start to feel it in your physical body now what does that mean to you sabrina Yes. Started happening to me. 
So I knew it couldn't be me. It's something that you're experiencing. So what I would suggest, Sabrina, is continue to develop your intuitive powers because the gift is there. Join today for $89. The School of the Prophets 24 CDs and 5-week phone mentorship with Master Prophet Noel, the leader of the prophetic. Master Prophet Noel is an anointed author of 126 prophetic courses, has mentored over 500 prophets worldwide, and will personally mentor you with his own School of the Prophets. Stop letting low-level prophets mentor you from a famous named Bishop's Church and come to the leader of the prophetic. Call the Florida office at 954-639-3169 or visit the website at www.masterprofitnoel.com.